Hey, I'm still in the dream world here. Hmm, how does this happen? Either way, let's rest for tonight and collect our thoughts. Uh, do I have to? Hey. It starts tomorrow for you, right? You should go to sleep earlier. Hey, hey. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Nice. These are cheap, but it's far better than giving it nothing. Yes, sir. I'm not sure why I do it, but I don't like I need to, right? I kind of already have them um, maxed out. Is it nice and warm? Still seems to be enough fuel. Good. Okay, I can't do that. Hey, hey. Rookie's power is really something, but we can't falter. Hey. I'm so exhausted mentally and physically. Let's take it easy today, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Same down like we're fine. Make everyone happy, huh? But even so. Anyway, let's think about this. No, wait. Anyway, let's think about it tomorrow. I'll sleep. We should be fine. Hopefully fine. Oh, hey. Bring brought back. Maybe we can actually do the, um, breaks. Quite some time. <sighs> yeah, it has, um. Hey, nice to see you again. You're much preferable, actually, well. I guess Justine wasn't that bad. Carolyn sucked, but, yeah. Yeah, well, anyways, welcome back. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. <laughs> Oh, you've been trying the entire time, huh? You know what's happening right now, right? All the, uh, Dr. Maruki going AWOL. Well, he was never on our team to begin with, but going kind of crazy. Yeah. Stuff like that, right? He's closed, yeah. He's closed. You have been imprisoned once more. <sighs> I get out, I have to go back in, man. This time, not by the god of control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. Man, 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 I, I keep breaking out. I have to go back in rebuilding and rebuilding. It's gonna go again. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. Yeah, I don't know if their realities are better or worse now, but uh, it's the true one, so I guess we'll call it good. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. You can break out again, man. <laughs> Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. Well then, uh, so that means uh, good, right? I think it means good. I'm gonna hope it means good. Time has come. Wait, already, man. What do I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. Yeah, yeah. If they're gonna provide aid to me, man, I need. I'm gonna need it, probably, maybe. Okay, then my uh, Satania guy go out again, like, go all, go all out and, like, shoot the shoot Marugi and have him, like, or just shoot the building he's in the palace, and that should uh, completely obliterate it. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe we're having been killing him, but, uh, not too sure, well. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. Yeah, hating also means helping, you know. Giving advice on what to do, right? Well, I'm gonna say that's still helping, it's hating. Still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Okay, see you tomorrow then, maybe, if I can. Finally, my cease is done. Haha. <laughs> Lady Lavensa told you that? Yep. We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Guess, wait, I'm surprised you didn't go to a catchy. Uh, I mean, taking a catchy is the same as me, right? I think, I guess the uh, false god made. I catch you that way, so I'm not sure. Um, uh, oh, welcome back. Hey, you look better. No, well, I'm not lying. She does look better. Oh, whatever. Morning. Um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. <sighs> no worries. Still wipe the floor with you, so no, no harm done, right? You tried to do harm, but no harm done. Well, no, I guess intention does matter. Well, whatever, you weren't exactly in the right state of mind, and then, I don't know, what the, what the heck Dr. Maruki was doing over there with you with all the tentacles, I, I'm not too sure, man. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. she's always climbing the rank in her. Oh, never mind. Oh, come <laughs> on. There's no need for that. <laughs> it's also good. We're, we're fine. 
we're fine, we're good, we're dandy, maybe, kind of, well, I'm not sure if everyone else is, but, uh, they're probably gonna think that you were being used by Maruki, which isn't, isn't false, so, I mean, water under the bridge, right, water under, under the bridge. More importantly, how have you been? I don't think she's been doing too well. Physically, I'm fine. And mentally? But mentally, to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. I mean, yeah. Kind of reasonable. You've been thinking you were a different person this entire time, and then, uh, well... We kind of shattered that reality for you in multiple times, kind of. Yeah. It's, it, it's fine. You, you, come on, you're fine. Hey, no, maybe not, uh, I mean, you I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what to say. Sorry. Are you okay? My memories are still pretty fuzzy, and I haven't really processed everything yet. Well, take some time. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. I'm still trying to wonder, though, how rank-ups are going to work, because he said, now we're going to be able to focus on rankings, but, uh, some of the most, a lot of the targets required us to go into mementos to deal with it, so... I'm not too sure how this is going to work. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, maybe. My shoulder, it's fine. Why do you ask, coach? May I take extra classes as well? I want to study more. This class is so awesome. There's no bullying or anything like that here. My man, I have club today after school. You guys can go home without me. But how is this going to be a dream world to be fit everyone's dreams if some people actually want to do crime? They want to do bad stuff. But that would affect other people. And I think each person is living in their own reality. Then maybe, but even then. Seems challenging to do. Mm, whatever. Oh, huh, club. I thought he was in the go home club. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, she give us time to talk to Kawakami, Marink of her. Hopefully, maybe. Here we go. Happy New Year, everyone. You all did your homework, right? Next year is going to be all about your college entrance exams, so you'd better start preparing now. Oh, and if you cause any trouble, that'll show up on your transcripts. So make sure you behave yourselves, okay? Now, time to turn in that homework. Let's see who's on class to duty today. Don't be me, don't be me, don't be me. Don't be me. Hmm. Yeah, so I think... You think Maruki manages all the stuff, right? But it seems like there's a lot of people who aren't acting how, acting how they would. Like, um... For instance, when we were in Shibuya. And, uh, that person said we should get married or whatever. The girlfriend's like... Why are you acting like this? You didn't act like this before. Which means he's altering people... He's, alter he's alterating some people and fav favoring some people over others, right? So therefore, it's not happy for everyone. And some people are losing their free will, more autonomy. It, to at least some extent here now. And then even bringing people from the dead, which is a whole nother matter. <laughs> here we go. Have you been studying? Well, not that you really had time for that. Oh, what happened now? Is everyone rested up? More or less, my mind was racing so much that I passed out before I even realized it. The mirror. What think do you pass out when your mind's racing? I find it's the exact opposite, man. Like, if your mind's racing, like, yeah, you can't, like, go to bed. It makes you want to, it makes you want to, like, kick your head against the wall over and over until your mind, like, shuts up so you can go to sleep. I don't know. Personal opinion, maybe. The mirror. I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Let's meet at the hideout, yeah. Sure thing. We'll come to the hideout right after school's end. Gotcha. Cool, I'll be waiting for all of you. Hey. We definitely need to update everyone about Lady Laventa. And cook more plans for here now, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our plans for after, huh? Easier said than done, but uh, sure. We have to choose our own path, eh? Yeah, man, we're gonna be choosing rebellion to have like every other time. <laughs> Rebel. Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. 
It seems he was right. <laughs> yeah. He may not be the best person, but hey, he was right about some stuff here. Some, don't know. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? I mean, yeah, but we were gonna fight him anyways, or at least I am. If you guys think I'm still gonna go first, yeah. That's right. Hey. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. I wonder what his desire, I wonder what his treasure gonna be. What if it's just gonna be like a his cognitive science paper or whatever, the huge paper he showed us at the beginning. Or at the end we've gotten to rank up 9 or rank 10. That might be it, maybe. I feel like that might be it, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna guess. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but... I know, I know, his desire isn't exactly evil, but it's kind of... Uh, Disagreement. Disagreement is the easiest way to um describe it, maybe. That desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? Hmm. I mean, kind of right. But also, if you think about it, that's not exactly it, is it? He wants to control to make people happy. That's what he wants. He wants control. He wants to change the outcomes into a way that he make to where he thinks it's fair. That's a real thing. He's changing. He just wants power in the end. Although he may be delud deluding himself or convincing himself that the reason is for more selfless for selfless uh reason or whatever, yeah. I admit it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. Yeah, those guys were well They were depraved and they weren't even sorry about it. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves only changed the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Uh, I mean, still... It's like brainwashing, it's like brainwashing. That game's kind of good we do, um, but, uh... Mm. I don't know if it's good or bad, all I know we're gonna defeat him. That's all I know, man, all I know, all I know. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Mm hmm? Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. But he ain't exactly doing the right thing. Well, I guess he might be doing the right thing technically, yeah, but uh, it's just all, it's all, it's all, it's all, um, it's all subjective. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good word for it here. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Yep, yeah, but we're gonna ruin each and every one of them. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maroki is actually doing the right thing. <laughs> Hey, shut up, Ruzi, man. We don't need your, um, decent take your men. But hmm. we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? And if it's wrong, we're gonna have to change it. We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. Mm hmm. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, I'm gonna do it. Now I'm gonna do it as well. Uh, so, somebody say something? Me. Sorry, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. Wait, people agreeing with Ryuji, well, that's a shocker there, huh? So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. Well, in the end, we're selfish just like everyone else, and we are I'm not gonna delude. I'm not gonna give myself the delusion otherwise here. That doesn't sound bad at all. Yeah, there we go. Then it's unanimous. Me, is it? Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Wait until the allotted date and then go for it. Pick up the palace, get back in the palace. Yeah. Get back in the palace, yeah. Right. <laughs> Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. Yep, yeah, so we just gotta wait for the allotted time, and then time to beat his butt. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. Yeah, fair point. That reminds me, you know that uh, uh reality bending stuff? Yeah, about like if you talk about his mom being alive, um, your leg working perfectly fine, not being kicked out of the track team. Yeah, yeah. Why is Doc able to do that anyway? Hmm. If I had to garner, yes, it's because reality and. Reality and cognition are merged right now, and if reality and cognition is merged. Oh. Hey, welcome back, gamer. Long time no see. 
Long time no see, man. Welcome back. Yeah, I was just saying. Part of the reason, I guess, as to why this is, I'm assuming because cognition has bled over into reality. If this cognition is now in reality, cognition can become. Or can have a physical form now, and because of that, he's able to change it to his will. And if he can, if he can affect cognition, he can affect the change of, or it can change the majority of people's minds. Yeah. That's at least the idea. Yeah, I think that's the idea. I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. I feel like um, my mental's bleeding over kind of made it a bit easier for him. At least, possibly so. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Mm, I guess so. Good day. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, he's asking why he can do it. Now I'm, now I'm saying, I, I'm thinking it's because, firstly, Firstly, every other palace collapsed, right, Bubba? Every other palace collapsed. Except that. Well, you know, mementos bled over into reality, right? And technically, palaces were part of my mementos, just kind of closed off or whatever. To people who had strong desires, right? And since mementos is now bled over into reality, or cognition has bled, bled over into reality, right? And it's the only palace left. It's the one that's going to be controlling basically this area. And basically everything in the palace bends over to the palace owner, right? And since it bleeds over, since he can basically change everything in the palace, and he can change cognition, cognition is in reality, he can make it a physical form, and there we go, yeah. This is Luvenza speaking. But who knows, I might be talking on my butt, it's fine. <laughs> Lavenza, yeah. Kind of, kind of surprised she can all uh, catch you. Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. Oh, now you can contact me in phone, home. Um. Sure. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. And that one, sure. That would be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? I oh, don't know, maybe she possessed it. I have no clue how she's going through her phone. No, Vidalba, she ain't like you, man. She ain't like you. Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. Uh, I don't know, too sure. We're still a prisoner there, so maybe she can tell our soul or whatever. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Oh, well. Wait, maybe Morgana. Wait, Morgana. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something oh. I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. Well, you're just not going to tell us how you could hear her. You know, I guess it's fine, whatever. We don't need to know. <laughs> I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm um, sure. Um, where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. So, LeBlanc? Well, actually, I have no idea where it's going to be easy for you, man. I got no clue there. Don't say the Velvet Room, because I'm not sure how well everyone else is going to get their men. Let us convene at your school. Wait, you're... Whoa. Oh, okay. At Shujin? Nah, ain't that going to draw attention? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Wonder if she's gonna have a school uniform. I mean, maybe, right? <laughs> Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? Yeah, maybe she'll have like a tiny school uniform for herself, or else she's gonna stick out like a sort of, like a no, or some. There we go. I'm not sure what to make of it. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go either. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offered to help us, <sighs> I guess we have a plan. Call that progress of some sort. Agreed. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. No, I'm down to team up with Akechi. I mean, he might be crazy right now. 
Very crazy, in fact, I like meant to do unstable amounts, but, uh, yeah, who isn't? We're fine. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Akechi wants to be in control of his own life. And I don't think he's gonna backstab us until at least after we're out. I don't think he's gonna backstab us at all, actually. Well, I think we ought to team up. Well, I guess unless he changes his mind about turning himself in, but then that's a whole other issue there. Mm -hmm. Me too. Agreed. Are you sure? Damn, damn. Doctor Maruki strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Yep, and uh, we'll try to get Yoshizawa as well, but that's, uh, we're gonna try. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. Oh, well, um, yeah, thank you for that, yeah. Guess that settles that. And if it does, guess we're just gonna go for it then. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. How we get Levenza in the school? I feel like getting Levenza in the school is an even bigger issue, man. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. I feel like that's gonna be even harder. All right. Just a hunch, Let's though. Head home for now. I mean, she did say she can get in there, but it, the real question is how the heck is she gonna get in there? Unless she can make it so, like, no one else can see her. To be fair, no one noticed when she was at the door, so whatever, right? We did. People thought we were just staring at a wall or something, right? So maybe that's how. Maybe. So. Do you think Lavenza will make it to the school? I hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Hopefully not. Yeah, don't you think it's a bad idea, her wandering around in that getup? That's true, hopefully no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her melodious... I'll handle it fine. What do you even say? Your options are kinda limited as a transfer student. Just say she's your little sister or something. Yeah. <laughs> ah, sure. At any rate, I'm certain she would reach out to us if something were to go awry. That's true, we can put our faith in Lafenza. Agreed. Let us know if anything changes, Melodius. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Why would Lady Lafenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? I don't know, she might actually just want to go to the... She might just actually want to check it out. <laughs> maybe she still has those desires from the two halves that she had. So maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm still stuck here, man. Can't do anything to all the way over there. Oh. Hey. You do those sketches, huh? I never check that. So I can't do anything, can I? Mm. Lady Lavenza will come by the school. That must mean she's got something important to talk about. Let's see her out. Maybe giving me more strength or whatever. Could be possible. Hey. There are some important topics being discussed tomorrow. I know you're nervous, but try to get some rest. Oh. No option, no. Hey, hold on. You won't get enough sleep, but let's not do that today. Let me do what I want to do, man. Fine. You want to take a break for today? I want to think on it a bit more. You don't give me an option to not take a break, man. Sleep. I wanted to talk, but you don't let me. Um, hey. Sorry, it's nothing. Get, don't do this, man. You do this every time. If you have a problem, just say it out, Fred, man. Just say it. Come on, what's up? I hate when people do that, man. No. I was just remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before we went into Mementos to erase it, before we'd dealt with Shido. Hey. Remember how I said I'd finally found the place I, where I'd belong? Even though I said that and really believe it, I still fell right into Maruki's hands. I know I've made it obvious how much I want to be a human. More than once, I thought it would give me a chance with Lady Anne, but... What I did was just so lame. I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. 
but you came back, yeah. That's that's what that's what made me matter if you came back. And he came back when it mattered most. <laughs> oh. Oh, well yeah, that's true, but I mean that was just the right thing to do. And you didn't have to do it. You did it. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. Oh, I'm nowhere near cool. Nowhere near it. You don't have to be cool, man. Yeah, fine. Right. Well, that's true. After all we've been through together, there's no point trying to act cool in front of you. Listen up. You know what? I'm going to make... Uh, I hate saying it, man. Sounds so wonky, man. Sounds so wonky saying going to, man. It sounds weird. You know what? I'm gonna make you a promise right now. From here on, I'm gonna be more independent. I just keep relying on you for everything because deep down, I thought you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own four feet. Oh, good on you, man. And I'm gonna... And I'm gonna be the one to protect you. I promise I, I, promise I will. But you already ranked 10. Wait, did he already break up? How is he breaking up again? Huh. Oh. Dude, you're going again. You can do that. Huh. Well, heck, the more you know. Huh. Oh. I've discovered a new, no, my original power. Alright. Morgana's persona Mercurius has transformed into Diego. Diego, demon. Okay. Oh no, no, that's Diablo's demon. Yeah, never mind. Oh no, then. All right, time to serve Maruki his just his desserts. <laughs> Anyone who tries to pull one over on us like that is asking for it. Let's do our best. Right. All right. Sorry, good for all the hassle. You and I are going to be even greater partners now. Aha. Uh -huh. Turn in for the night. Well, things are going to get hectic started tomorrow. Let's call it the night. Yeah, that's what we were going to do. Majestic present day, present day miracle rush. So, mm. uh. oh no, I like that one because it does feel like basically all the way. I have the question of vision or... No, we are fine. I'm thinking this one, because this one, like, basically that, just a bit better. And only a bit more SP. Hey, Awakening the Phantom Thieves, evolve the party member's persona. How do you evolve them? I, you know, well, whatever. A new year is starting. You look, you all look sleepy. What? Did you doze through the new, through the new year? What's well, Chogatsu one big excuse to lay the round? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you some. Good grief, Shogatsu's not supposed to be an excuse to relax, you know. We decorate with Konamatsu, Kagami, Mochi, and Shimanawa in order to welcome the Toshigami deities. It's one of the oldest traditions in Japan. By the way, Cherry Blossom viewing and even Children's Day are meant to commemorate deities and spirits. Japan's got a lot of gods, so naturally there ended up being a lot of events and rituals to accommodate them all. Reasonable. There's a phrase of referring to all the Shinto gods as a collective. Anyone know it offhand? What is the answer? Oh wait, Takamaki-san, I'll bet you slept through Shogatsu. No way, I get second awake everyone else. Ooh. Okay, I need to second awake Haru, I need to second awake Mokodo, I need to second awake actually. And my range for everyone else is too low. Ah, well, whatever, it's fine. Huh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I mean... Hey, wait. hey, Lady Anne is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. Seriously? I'm so unlucky, and I didn't even sleep through Shogatsu. Melodious, are you awake? Can you give me a hint? It's some phrase about the gods, but it's kind of abstract, right? What's the phrase supposed to illustrate about the gods of Shinto? Numerous they are. 
I'm gonna see what time you're immersed, although we can always uh check to make sure you know. Cause look, I don't like being wrong. I'm just gonna be straight up. I don't like being wrong. <laughs> I don't like being wrong, and I don't like being questioned. I don't like being questioned on stuff that they never told me about, man. Oh, I'm right. How numerous they are. Great, I was right. See, I, I, I pick an option and then I check. You know, Wikipedia time, the best time. <laughs> How numerous they are. Yeah, I think that's right. They use a specific number, right? What's that phrase again? The one about how many gods are in Shinto? The 10,000 sounds right. I'm gonna check. Is it 10,000? Need million. Never mind. Yeah, I think that's it. So people call the gods of Shinto the 8 million gods. That's correct. Get to die. Nice. We call them Yarozu no K I don't want to say that. Yo Yarozu no Kami. Or the 8 million gods. Though that number is not meant to be taken literally. Oh man. Yo Yorozu. Yo Yor Yo Yorozu is essentially shorthand for myriad gods. An uncountable number. In olden days, the Japanese believed that gods dwelled in everything. What with all these traditions, you could say these beliefs still affect our lives today. It's a wonderful thing, really. We really need to cherish our history. Nice, going. nice Lady Anne seems really relieved. A lot of worked out. You're pretty good at studying, I'm impressed. Oh yeah, I'm definitely good at studying. <laughs> busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. Hey, the butterfly's here again. It's Lavenza. Cool. You've been awfully... Oh, wait, you're here. It's that. for myself. <laughs> Be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... Hold up on that Morgana. We have a visitor here. Hmm? That's... Yes, it is. Whew. Okay, let's follow it. Yeah, let's go. Rooftop, maybe. Hey. hey, chase it down so you don't lose sight of it. That's how you're gonna be reading. Okay, just to make sure it stops. I'm like, oh crap, is it not stopping? That's kind of bad. People seem to have calmed down about the Phantom Thieves. What do you think about them? I've lost interest. Yeah, I get that. People often lose interest in things around the new year, like one hit wonders. <laughs> Well, I want to be... Well, I want to report the news without being influenced by the public. Honestly, I wish I could interview them in person, but... <laughs> that's never gonna happen. Oh, really now, huh? Never gonna happen, eh? Going down, but I thought you could go up. It's not. Oh. Hey, you see that? It went to the first floor. <sighs> Where on earth are they trying to go? Come on, we gotta follow it for now. Hey. No option, man, no option. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, good. Okay, phew. For real? The nurse's office? What's going what's going on in there? Oh never mind. The nurse's office, what's going on here? It's just like my dream. It even showed up in your dreams. That's strange. Well, never mind that. There's no point in thinking about that right now. Let's get inside the nurse's office quickly. I thought it was gonna go into the bathroom. I'm like, no, no, no. Don't go to the girl's bathroom. Please don't go to the girl's bathroom. Please, please. Where are you going? Let's check out the nurse's office. I thought it was gonna go to the girl's washroom. I'm like, no, 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 no. Everyone's been in high spirits since the turn of the new year. It's weird. Did something happen? I heard everyone's happy that all their wishes came true. Well, that's probably it, right? Hmm, but being too happy might not always be a good thing. You have to be motivated to win a match. It sounds like you've been talking t to your boyfriend on the soccer team a little too much. Mom, being happy is a good thing. Well, they do say, hardships build character, right? And I guess you're gonna build character with no hardships. I wonder if Yoshizawa here. Maybe. Probably not, though. Probably not. 
Get spawned in, Lavenza. Yep. Lady Lavenza. There you are. You'd be here. Hello. Thank you for coming. Yep, you're welcome. Uh, so, what are we here to discuss here? Now that's the important part. Thank you for. You know, you guys make me not want to say this word, man. What's with the formality? Yeah. What's with the formality? regularly exchange phrases such as that upon meeting. Yeah, but not only if you're friendly with each other, right? Or like business oriented. Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? Yeah, yeah, that would have been better. Or what's poppin'? What's poppin', my guy? Hey. <laughs> That's best. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, how about we get this started? As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I'm all ears, man. All ears. Actually, I'm also eyes and a nose and tickling body as well. But, uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm all ears for, for right now. All ears, kind of. Maybe. But first, please gather your other friends here. We should be able to just uh, shoot up a text, right? And then we should be fine. Hopefully. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? Good to know. Good to know. This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Um, yeah, this is kind of yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Maintaining my <laughs> existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. Hmm. Well, he doesn't want you to be here, huh? But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. <sighs> well, that's good to know. I. Yeah, I don't know. Morgana seems confused. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. No, she seems kind of tired, huh? Well, it makes sense. She has to exert a lot of energy, even in here, right? Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Sure thing, man. Have a good, have a good nap. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Yep. Nap time for Lavenza. Oh. And she disappears when she has a nap file. I guess we should get everyone in here. Yeah, let's get them. How are we gonna get them out? How are we gonna get Yusuke in here? Yeah, it's such a cute little thing, yeah. True that, man, true that. Guess we're gonna be all here. Infiltration success. Oh hey, you're gym uniform, huh? You both are, huh? Wait, what? Gym? Now you all snuck in with gym uniforms, um? Ah, sure. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Guess I saw the uniform. It's not like you know every single one in the school. Like, um, don't know how many it's gonna be in Shibuya, but probably at least like a couple of them. You made more, of maybe like a lot, a hundred or whatever. Maybe like. I'd say at least 900, right? Maybe 800. Either way, you're gonna know everyone. You're gonna know everyone. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here. Yeah. We are lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. Oh, thank you, Akechi. I must say, though. Mm. I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, for now, we're all on the same side. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Oh, so you're gonna help us here, and then we're gonna help you. Go to prison, that is, but, uh, yeah, well. You're a minor, so it shouldn't be that bad. Well, or it might be. If you get tried as an adult, you're gonna be in a huge hassle, but hopefully not, right? Hopefully not for your sake. Yeah. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Yep. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But our goal's personal in nature as well. But if you ever betray us again, <laughs> we'll make sure you regret it. What's a catchy thinking of that? Yeah. All right then. He's acting all chill again. What the heck? Why, why is when he around all these people? He's acting all chill, but when he's around me, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go looking crazy. Ugh. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before. Uh, you don't like living under anyone's thumb, right? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. Mm, yep. 
And there's Lavenza, here we are. <laughs> it appears that everyone's arrived. You still look kind of sleepy though, man. I hope you had enough rest. <laughs> Does this mean you're ready to begin? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Uh ain't that our line? Yeah, care to fill us in. Tell us what you know, yeah. Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it. Time to see how wrong I am. Time to see how wrong I am. Yeah. As well as the true nature of his power. I saw one thing. I feel like I'm probably wrong, so I was curious how wrong I am. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. Okay, well, enlighten us if you will. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, that's a given, yeah, that's a given. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. Oh, hey, it's not too far off. Nice. <laughs> he changed mementos? How is that even possible? Because his palace is still part of a memento, and we kind of destroyed every other part except this. Isn't it gone, though? No, it ain't. Wait. Don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Yes, sir. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. <sighs> it does the wonkiest things, I tell ya. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. Oh. Uh -huh. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions... I mean, he did for Yoshisawa, so why not? On a larger scale, right? <laughs> that man were also to gain access to mementos. Yeah. It would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Oh, well, that's kind of problematic, here. Yeah. Could he really have done all that? What do you mean, could he really have? He already did. I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Yeah. Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition. Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. Wait a second, a persona, wait. But palace owners can't have a persona, can they? Uh, that means there's another persona user, but who would that be? I think we would have seen it by now. Might be Yoshizawa still. Might be your other half of her or whatever. Other half of Yoshizawa, maybe. In other words, this man named Maruki is. Can't be a persona user because he had a palace, right? He is. Maybe the tentacle is his persona. Maybe. I thought. I thought. So a palace user, a palace owner can't have a persona. Well, I guess so, huh? That's impossible. Yeah. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. That's what I'm confused about, man. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. Huh. However. By the time he crossed your paths, you already had it. There's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Hmm. Well, that's kind of problematic, ain't it? Huh. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. Even more, he has a persona. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan. Was um his persona. Kind of like a catch evil that just makes you go hacking crazy, right? Yeah. It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though. That is um a hard pill to swallow, yikes. We still need to determine how he used No. Even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself. Yeah. That power on Mementos as a whole. Rather than a single individual. Yeah, now that's the issue here. I mean, he was researching it, so he has, like, more means, he has more knowledge about it, but still. We still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. 
So you hear this sometimes, I was like, ah, uh, probably about this way too many times, but like, you press the button, and you, for some reason your finger double taps or whatever, you're like, man, pain. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect mementos. No kidding. It's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. <gasps> Maybe his powers allows him to like, uh... Make it stronger, enhance it, maybe, maybe. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, we beat a god before. We can do it again. And what if he became such a god? I don't get it. The um, hassle. And we've had to fight two gods in, like, a span of a year. I don't think the next year, particularly, would be within a span of a year. Yeah. The God of Control. Yep. Indeed, the being in Mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. Did Maruki save it? Hopefully it not. It's easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Oh man, really? Took over his position. What do you mean? He now has control over Memento Fury, yeah. So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? I guess kind of, or at least the world he envisioned as a god. Or the ideal. Now, what they wish for. The Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses support after defeating this so-called god of control. And then we get screwed over again. There's Doc and Winnin. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. But I guess that is not what happened. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Oh, that is the question here. I mean, probably through his persona or whatever, right? Maybe. If he uses powers to um, extend his range, extend his power, make even... At least the majority of people believe it, right? We just work. The masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you what? 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 What do you mean? We never wished for anything like that. <gasps> Wait, we wished for it ourselves, though, no. Is that really true? Crap. No, we wished for it. It's most likely because... We chose Maruki. What? I mean, he was the one who kind of talked to us the entire time. And they could have changed each of our minds on an individual basis, changing how we would react. Then once we defeated the, once we defeated the god, we, we like Maruki, therefore all our powers went to Maruki instead. Yeah. After we defeated the god of control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Oh no, man. Oh no. Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, when would we have even had the chance to? When we were in the psycho or uh, therapy sessions, yeah. Therapy sessions. Because, uh. I think everyone here went to the therapy sessions and then even Utama saw Dr. Muki as well. Yusuke even talked to him as well. I don't think Akechi did, but Akechi wasn't a phantom thief, so it doesn't really matter. What about our counseling? Yep, there it is. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Well, no matter what... Well, no matter what past you might have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. Oh, what a turn... What a conniving man. Huh. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. Wait, I mean, he would have had to know that we were the Phantom Thieves really early on, eh? However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Mm hmm. But we can't get the power back, can we? Yeah. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. Not me. Not me. So this is all our fault, huh? Not me. We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Yeah, we've kind of had to. 
Let's put an end to this, yeah. If we started it, we gotta finish it as well. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've gotta be the ones to fix it. That's what I said, basically. Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Yeah, I'm still gonna fight him. Just took a bit longer to get there. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. Wait, really? On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world. Yeah. The merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. Let me guess, Dr. Maruki is preventing it though, right? So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. Yeah, but now that we can make his cognition a reality. Huh. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Sure that as well. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. Mm -hmm. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Oh no, that's gonna be problematic. Should this continue, reality shall merge with mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. Oh. I don't think that's what we want. When that happens, Anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. Wait, 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 so before he goes, we're just kind of screwed. Oh, yeah, man, oh, that's a problem. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona <sighs> users. We lose our free will, man. It would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. So just be a god taking free will, huh? To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. Oh, we have a, we have a due date as well, gotcha. And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. I wonder if we can do stuff after we defeat Dr. Maruki's palace. I'm not too sure. I mean, maybe right now, but that should be the end of the game, right? When you do that. So. We only have a month. And we and he won't even let us fight until we wait. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Yep. Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? Oh no, man. It's possible. That's the case. We don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. If you have to go in early, sure. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Sure thing. And then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. Okay, man, um... I will be expecting the best from you, man. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Right. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. So we need to get the mantis first. I mean the man enough. Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Oh, what, what, yeah, what is it? it? Got blurred out. It doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. So what is it going to tell us what he thinks of it then? He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. So he tried to hide it so he couldn't see it. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. Oh, well that's good at least. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Well, what if he's not actually the palace's ruler? No, but he has to be because all his cognition stuff, right? He has to be. Such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. Maybe. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? I mean, the god tried that before and it didn't work, so why would it work this time, Rich? <laughs> maybe he wants to save us, yeah. That too, maybe he wants to save us. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. Yeah, so why would he get rid of us, right? Yeah. yeah. It may be hard to believe. Since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Mm -hmm. 
sorry. Even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow. Yeah. Wait, what? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. I mean, yeah. I mean, sure, you're kind of crazy, but I uh, might as well. Let's see first damage, which I don't really have. Duh, dude. The fan thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Let's get it here. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. If you're gonna force us to wait like Daxi's in the calling card, maybe. Then that settles that. I feel like we're gonna go invade, but Maruki isn't gonna exactly let us uh, fight him until the end date. This really I'm gonna keep going around until until that time. Wait. What about Yoshizawa san? Because we can teleport well, we can't really fight him. That's kind of the issue there. Oh, the man. This definitely involves her as well. True that, true that. So. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. Uh, how long is that gonna take though? What she does with that information though. That's up to her. Fine, fine. Right. Hmm. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Okie dokie. Have a good sleep. Well, I thought it was Joker. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. I'm Joker, not Trickster. I'm not, man, I'm not. I'm gonna just stay here. Oh, it's not whatever, fine. Oh, I guess you gotta go. Hey, here she's always was a listing, huh? Dot, dot, dot. I just... What's the response gonna be here? <laughs> I guess we might as well close up for the night. It's better not become a problem again. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a Yoshizawa. Welcome. Simire. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> um Yoshizawa? There he is again. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Have a seat. Oh yeah, and why why not one of these times? They should one of these times they should have brought uh we should have brought uh Sajiro into the mementos for a quick second just so we could have be able to hear Morgana. Should have should have could have would have, eh? Hey. She's here to see you, right? Now don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Uh, so, well, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, boss. Sorry for coming over so late. It's fine. And thank you for the coffee. Should be good. It's delicious. Hey, there we go. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Oh, but don't mind, but I also feel like I can't refuse either. Yep, there Thank it is. You. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today. And you were listening in, right? And, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation <sighs> i know i know i'm out of the actualization you've all found the paths you want to take and are following them with such confidence well what to take is different from what we need to take more so whereas i'm simply drifting drifting kind of drifting by like dr maruki said before I ran from the truth. Well, you know what they say, better late than never, right? I <laughs> couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. <laughs> my memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to know. I was still running from reality. Where Kasumi is gone. Where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Oh. Uh. Do you still want to do you still want to run? No. Hey, there we go. Like I said earlier. I'm the fight. Yeah. I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. You're gonna fight with us? Yeah, I good. can't keep running like this. Glad to hear it. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. You can join us, right? You can finally become a bona fide member of the Phantom Thieves. Senpai. 
What should I do? I know, I know your truth well. You have to, you have to decide, not me, yeah. Yeah. You really have to decide. You can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. Well, you are trying to have someone else pick for you again, huh? But you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. Sure thing, yeah, as I said before, this ain't the worst I've had. Way, way worse stuff being unloaded onto me, man. Just like a breeze compared to everything else, man. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Well, I'm gonna wish you luck in that, man. Live for yourself. And have fun. Well, if you can. Hopefully you can, fun. Let's reform society. Tomorrow we're gonna... Tomorrow we're gonna... Don't work here. Tomorrow we're going to the palace. We're gonna take back the world. The real world. Ah, sure. Rewriting reality. I would never have thought such a thing, such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know. I know God moaning when I see it. At this point, he is basically a god, right? This crap makes Shido look small time. We need to come up with a plan. That's a good point. We should have meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Takeshi? I guess we could let him back in the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be the quickest. Let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Mm. Why don't I just put him in? Put him in. I should have his number after all. I, mean, I should have his number right. Should Whatever. One month to go, huh? We better come up with a plan. That time is gonna go by fast. 